Welcome back, everybody. It is Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to set up our computers, and uh, we are pretty much, or I should say, I am <laughs> pretty much ready to go uh, with the build. I've got all the blueprints built and tested and the usual. So let's just jump right in and get started with this. So we're going to remove this first section here. And uh, the first blueprint actually just because of the way that I built it, it's going to face this direction. So we'll put in a couple walls here to get that started. Um, Alright, so th these are going to be blue colored, and we'll start with these assemblers, turn them this way, and then get it popped in there. And we need to move it that way one, and I think, I think that's good. Okay, let's jump down here and we'll get rid of these. Very good. Okay, let's move this way and take the next section of four out. Blueprints. This piece is um, Chris. Uh, the, we're we're going to use four crystal oscillator. I'm uh, uh, sorry, four manufacturers making crystal oscillators. Uh, this is actually the second one though, and that looks right because the first one's going to straddle uh, this little section right here. Let's take and put this guy in right there. We'll copy you and paste you. And yeah, so this is the just the the basic crystal oscillator recipe. It makes one per minute. Let's color this with our, our blue theme here. Okay, so on the back here, what we're going to do is let's pull those out. Going to grab a lift and pop that in there when it goes here. And this one I wasn't able to make because it's right on the seam between the uh, the blueprint sections. Now this splitter actually needs to have the input coming from the right because um, we're going to feed quartz crystal down the other direction. So we'll have uh, cable yeah, we'll have cable and reinforced plates coming in from this side going down, but then we'll have the quartz coming back this way for the for the third one down here. Okay, whoops. Get that in there and down here. Let's get all those lifts colored. Okay, these were, are already hooked up because I was able to do that uh, in the blueprint itself. Now around the front here, what we want to do is bring a line into there. And that's going to be feeding the oscillators into the assemblers. And I think that's all we have to do to hook that part up. Right. Looking good. Let's move the uh, remove the next section of four or 16, I should say, four by four. Now this one, um, obviously we have a pillar here, so I had to build this one around. Let's see if we can get it to go in there. So that's this number three crystal oscillator manufacturer and it looks to me like yeah it'll pop in there 
And once again, we couldn't put the manufacturer down because it's in between. So let's put that in place now. We'll copy that, paste that, turn it that way. Okay, let's remove these for a moment. Grab this lift here. And oh, I had the I had the lower piece in, but let's just do the whole thing. Okay, that takes care of that one. Then we just run a line from there to there. And that should all be straight. Oh. That is not straight. How did I manage to do that? I think... Hmm. I'm not going to be able to move this merger any more to the right than it already is. We could move. We could move these uh, these mergers over to the left, though, and just kind of snug them up against the the lifts. That's probably what we're gonna have to do. Um, let's look at this one, though. Well, this one doesn't really matter because it doesn't have a a merger anyway. Uh, but we are going to need to rerun this. Or no, actually, we didn't need to do that. Sorry, that was part of the blueprint, so we're good. The other thing I could do is just... Uh, let's see. It's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to move those over. I mean, we certainly can do it, but I, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. And instead, what we'll do is we'll come down here. Okay, that's too close. We'll just do a little S-curve into there and call it good. Yeah, that'll work. It's not terrible. At least I'll I'll tell myself that. Okay. Yep. Let's just run with that. Get out of here. Let's also reset this lift here. Oh, knock it off. Sometimes when you, well, every time when you color these lifts, only one side of it or one end of it colors, but then the other end decides to adopt the color a little while later. It's just really odd. I don't, I don't know why it does that, but... <laughs> It's weird. Um, okay, so that should be connected. And we should be done with the front end over here. Get this one blue. All right, very good. Now, I, I didn't do a... I didn't do a power bar... For the manufacturers, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to. It, it was too much of a pain in the ass to try and build it into the blueprint. I mean, I could have done it if I would have tried hard enough, but I decided not to. So we might... Uh, well, let's let's hold off. Maybe we might still do that. Let's, let's just wait. Okay, next piece. This piece is actually a 3x4 piece. 
and it will contain our refineries. So let's go uh, here. And we want it to go in just like that. Look at that. Fit quite nicely. Oh, we need to... Here, let's actually take this whole entire row out here. We need to do the lifts on these guys. Okay, that looks all correct. Let's grab a refinery. And the input is on that side, output is on this side. And I think that's where we want it to go. That looks correct. Right, these are making pure quartz crystal. Um, copy, paste. Oh, actually, though, you know what? I need to down clock these to 36 per minute. Okay, so copy that and paste it over there. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, 36 times 2 is 72. All of these take in 18. 18 uh, times 4 is 72. So that's where we come up with that number there. Okay, let's get the... Uh, let's get the quartz input set up on these first. And I already have that connected. And I did uh, go around and I had to upgrade my Katerium, which I needed to do anyways. I put a Mark III miner out there and upgraded some of the belts. And I upgraded the quartz belt to a Mark III. It was a Mark II to make sure we had the right quantities flowing in here. So that should all be good as long as I didn't screw something up. Uh, this also needs to be a Mark II coming into here. Um, yeah, that's a Mark II as well. And then let's redo the lifts. Oh, shit. I didn't have to redo that one. Has to be marked two because we're feeding uh, forty six point two eight six times two, which is eight ninety three ninety four something like that in total. Um, so the first section has to be marked two. So that looks like that's good to go. All right, let's take care of our uh, water input next. So we'll hook the water pipes up to here. And I have this little uh, pipe bracket thing here, but the blueprint would not let me put the uh, the pipe in. It said I didn't have enough clearance. Let me put the bracket in, but not the pipe. So I don't know. Can't explain it, but that's the, that's the way it worked. Okay, let's grab the pipe. Uh, we are on horizontal to vertical. Oh, we need to actually... Um, let's just bring that, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to there. Because if we bring it... Oh, no, I gotta go... Yeah, I gotta go back further. That's right, forgot about that.
yeah we'll just bring it down immediately down just because otherwise it's going to run into this stuff over here all right this is going to need a pump on it uh other way there we go and then we'll put the power connector on this side and i'll have to figure out how to get power how i'm going to get power to that we'll bring this down to here it's as far as it goes uh, i already have a junction set up there okay All right, so let's see. Uh, we're gonna need to adjust the water extractor. So we have 30, or no, we're gonna have 25.714. So let's just say, well here, let's do 25.714, weird ass number, uh, times two is 51.428. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh no! <laughs> I accidentally picked my water extractor up when I was uh, undoing all of my testing. Wow, okay. I'm going, where the hell did my extractor go? Uh, right about there is probably good. Excuse me. Let's hook that back up. Okay, so uh, I remember we needed 67 and a half, I believe, originally. Let me just double check that. Yeah, so 22.5 times 3 is 67 and a half. So if we just do, um, we put brackets around here, and then we do plus 67.5, it comes out to 118, so we'll just say 119, which is almost the full kit and caboodle there. Okay, so that should give us all the water that we need. Um, for getting power down here, Why don't we... Put this here. And then we'll just run it straight up the middle here. Is that going to clip? Yeah, we need to actually move this over to about uh, there, maybe. And it's good enough. gets power to our pump. Got water in the pipe. Oh, we won't get water in these guys until we power them up. Right, okay. Um, so to do that, we got power poles on this side. I think what I'll do is how much did how well did those line up with that? 
not real well. Okay, yeah, we could run a line from here right through here. There we go. Oh, right, I gotta hook up to the actual machines too. Now we should see water come in. Water and quartz. Very good. Okay, so we got those machines are ready to roll. Well, we, we still got to do their outputs. Um, so yeah, let's just do that right now. So what I'm going to do here is... We're going to need a merger here. And I think I need to actually turn this the other direction. Like that. Okay. Um, why don't we put this here? I think that's where it needs to be. Output the going, the, uh, here. Okay. That connects that to there. This should be able to run directly in there, except for I want to I want to make this a full pass-through belt. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, yeah, right there. Oh, shit. Try that again. One, two, three, four. There. I think that belt is straight. As far as I can tell, it is. Okay. You're outputting, yeah, 36 per minute. So this belt, this belt can be a Mark 1, but the connection from here to here needs to be a Mark 2, because we're 72 there. Now, to do that, I'm going to put those in there. We're going to get some hangers. Move them back this way. I think that's right. We'll find out. So this is a Mark II belt. Uh, no, we need to. We need to bring it over. Here, I think. Yes, that's correct. All right, so we're sending uh, 72 into here. It's pulling 18 off, so that's... 6254 so everything else can be mark 1 and 
that should get the crystal going in all of the manufacturers. We need to get power on these manufacturers so that we can get them starting to load their stuff. So, all right, if I'm going to do a power bar, what we want to do for that is grab a beam and want to be right about here. And we want it to be high enough up so it goes above the indicator lights, so right about there. Um, I can fix that later. Okay, and then we'll just take this all the way over this way. We're going to want to end it there, maybe. I just like using these because it just makes things so much neater. Hmm. Okay, so we're either going to have to clip into that. I don't, we can't get... We're going to be touching that insulator if we go any further. So you know what? This is the way it's going to have to be. It's just the way it's going to have to be. Okay. Now let's go grab our doubles. And we're going to put one there, one there, one there, one there, um, let's, mm, yeah, let's not do that one yet, okay. that down there. Put this right there. And then we go and connect these. And run these down to the machines. That one we could probably actually pull over to the left one. Yeah, we definitely can. Well, see, now it's leaning too far to that side. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. I haven't been able to get these to nudge um, along the beam. It always wants to nudge perpendicular to the beam, which is really odd. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. So it's the way it seems to behave. All right, put that there. Oh, you're going to be a. That's right. You're going to be a pain in the ass on that, aren't you? Doesn't like that insulator being there. So we're going to have to... Okay, hold on. We're going to have to work from the other side. Okay, so leave that the way that it is. Okay, you know what I could probably do also? Well, no. Actually, here. Yeah, just do this. Okay. And we'll color these gray. And we're going to break that line and instead run it to, no, not there. 
Try that again. To here. And we got power. And then we'll just go back down to there like that. We could even I, I think that'll be okay. Alright, let's put caps on this. Now, um, can I... Let's take that cap back off for a second. Because I want to get on the lower part of that. Can I reach all the way down here for you? Oh, I can. Nice. And we, we get that one powered. Okay, good. So we got our manufacturers powered so they can start ingesting their quartz crystal. I probably colored that, but in case I didn't, let's hit them again. Because remember, they only do the one side at first. Um, and that takes care of the very first row. But now we have to do a second row to get all the other stuff in place. And you know what? I'll, we don't actually need these now. Since we got the power hooked up over here. What we could do here is Yeah, see it won't nudge along the beam. It'll, it, it it doesn't matter which arrow key I press. It's just really weird, man. hook it up to there. Okay. So now we have power on those as well. Um, don't think we need this. If we do, well, I'll set it back up later. Get a little, little far away, didn't we? And maybe I am gonna need a couple more in the back until we get the other machines in place. Okay, let's see. Um, we left a, another row there, I believe. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. So let's. Just do that for the moment. Right. Yeah, I'm going to leave uh, an extra row here. So we have, you know, room for logistics. And then we're going to go to, 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 like this. Okay. We're going to grab our fifth uh, blueprint, which is this guy. And it doesn't, if I turn it, okay, how, it should attach to this blueprint here, but it doesn't want to for some reason. All right, well, we'll just have to use walls again. Okay, 
lock it there and then slide it on over. I missed this tile right there on the blueprint. Okay, so these guys are producing cable and we're using the Katerium wire recipe, which is my favorite recipe for wire in this game. It makes so much of it. And we're going to need to put a merger here and then wrap it around into this one and go down the top row. Tell you what, let's do the inputs first so I can start making the product. So you're going to need Caterium. And I've got a Caterium connection down this way. Um, I actually want to keep those two there. This is just 14 Caterium. Coming in. And I'm gonna need I'm gonna need two whoops hangers. Because it's not gonna reach all the way down. So let's just put those right here. I think it'll reach to there. It should. Okay, and then we're going to go here. Back to. Are we straight? I think so. I believe we are. Okay, so here we need... No, this isn't taking raw resources. This is taking intermediate resources. So we don't need to hook anything up to that. But we can get our cable hooked up. How much are we sending out? 20. Okay, yeah, so this can all be Mark 1. Bring this over to here. Grab a merger, lock it in place. Uh, let's reset this lift here. Good. Then we come out here and we go into here. Uh, I can't. Oh, okay. I wasn't seeing the line over there. Go back to wrap that into there. Then we just mark this mark one this all the way down. Right? Yeah, because we're not producing more than sixty in total. did color this, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, you guys need power. Let's 
let's run this straight to here. Okay, so yeah, we just need to wait for this to start feeding wire into these guys. That one's already getting wire, and that one's getting wire. Beautiful. We should see cable coming out. That belt should be good. That looks looks correct to me next section This is the one, our iron plate. And we need to flip it around this way. I think we have a double insulator here. Yeah, same problem I had last time when I was all confused. Okay, so that powers them on. These are um, just making iron plates, so we're making 20. We're making a total of 60, 20 per every third, uh, every machine there. And we got to run this iron into these three guys. So let's it's straight, right? Let's just do this. We'll run you to there. Lock in a splitter there, and lock in a splitter there. Reset these guys. And that should be all we have to do. You're getting ore, you're getting ore, you're getting ore. Okay. Now let's hook your outputs up. So let's see, you guys are gonna merge together and then wrap around and go into here. And I yeah, we can we can use Mark One for for the plates, but we have to use Mark Three for the screws. Okay, so let's get let's just put you right there for the moment. It is straight, right? Yeah. Oh, you know something else I need to do is. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Gotta hook up my circuit boards too. Uh, all right, so let's just do this. We need mergers for this job.
We want the output going that way. Reset the lifts. You can go in there, and you can go in there, and you can go there, except for we need to... Right, I think so. And then we'll start feeding iron plates into our um, assembler for making reinforced iron plates. That should be all we need to do with that. Last piece. Screw constructors. Flip this around this way. All right, let's get that powered on there. Okay, so you're also going to need iron, and you're going to need coal. So we're going to have to drop this lift down. One, two, three, four. Does that look right? I believe so. Then we just put a splitter here. Looks like it's locked. Reset the lift. So you know I I had a problem with this before where it wouldn't. Well, I, I think it's just maybe a little bit out of range, so we're just gonna. I think we can squeeze a belt in there, can't we? Oh shit, maybe we can't. No, that's not enough clearance. Shit. Okay, um... Usually when that happens, it means something's not straight. But damn, that looks straight to me. Okay, um, then I think, well, okay, why don't we try this? Why don't we bring the lift off of the splitter? Yeah, something's not lined up right. Ah, that's the problem, yeah. This, this snapped in place, but it was snapping to something else. Okay, so... That might be correct. Nope, it's still snapping to something else. Damn it. Um, okay. Let's try this. Let's take the splitter and put it here. Go like that and like that, and it should not have split the line properly there, which is to be expected. And incidentally, that was a Mark II line, so 
Now it should connect. There we go. Let's redo this one as well. Uh, get rid of that hanger. And that should that should do it. I keep thinking that line looks just slightly off, but I don't think it is. I think it's straight. I do believe it is. All right, so you're getting iron and coal so you can start making steel. Beautiful. Um, you guys are getting 90 ore per minute, which is why that's a mark two also. Right, okay. We're bringing in a total of a hundred, well, about a hundred and three, so that can still also stay a mark two. Let's go hook up our screws now. I think I was bringing, this has to be Mark 3, I think I brought this out, and around this way, where, that's my screw output there, okay. Needs to go over this way one. And I think we need to go there. That's still not straight. straight. And that is straight as well. And we have screws and that's a Mark III lift. I always check the lifts, man. I have had lifts mess me up more than anything else put together <laughs> in this game with, with proper flow rates. All it takes is one lift, or one little tiny section of conveyor belt that's hidden inside of a splitter or something like that, man. It's like... Those things happen in this game. Yes, they do. Okay, so you are producing screws. That means you should be getting screws. You are, and you are now making reinforced iron plate. It is a beautiful thing. All right. You guys are just jammed up right now uh, because each one of these machines should be completely full of crystal, quartz crystal. So there's not really a problem with those machines. They're just jammed at the moment. Uh, last step here is to get the two assemblers hooked up. Um, yeah, because we just... Oh, no, we got to hook up the plate. Sorry. Wait. Yeah, we haven't hooked up the plate yet. So the plate's coming out of here. And it's going to go into there. So what we're going to need to do is, let's put this in place. Let's 
put that there for the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure that's straight. But we want to move this hanger over to uh, there. Of voila. There we go. And there's our plates. And then this should be Mark 1 all the way down. So these guys are producing 10 per minute. Each of these four manufacturers takes two and a half per minute of reinforced iron plates. They each take 14 cable per minute. Uh, so that's 56 in total cable, 28 and 28 is 56. All right, final step here is getting our assemblers going. Um, so let's pull this out. We, we've actually already connected the, the crystal oscillators because um, that's what this all, all this business is. So it comes out it comes into to this merger here into this splitter and then splits one side off to there and one side off to there. Uh, this line down here is for our uh, our circuit boards. Okay, so if we go here, the, okay, here we go. That's right, I did this already. Um, so we're gonna want That's no, that's lined up with the top. We need to go this way. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And then let's just nudge it to two that way. Come down three. And run that right on into there. If you remember from yesterday's episode or last episode, I don't know if that was yesterday or not. Um, this third assembler that we have up here making circuit boards is for providing circuit boards to these, these assemblers over here. So that's what that's all about. Okay, so I just wanna make sure I see the circuit boards coming up the lift. That looks good. Check this lift here. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Okay. Let's go back up top side. So I think we're done. You're get, you've got your first oscillator. You got your first oscillator. All right, and you know, just like before, uh, we're just going to sync these until we're ready to hook it up to the main system. Uh, so let's put a a sync here. a merger here oh I'm in blueprint mode Uh, 
Um, it's gonna be a little crooked, but well, actually, that does look like shit, doesn't it? Let's at least put this here. Still isn't gonna be perfect, but a little bit better. I guess I could move the the merger over a click. I shouldn't be wasting time with this stuff because it just doesn't matter, but sometimes my uh, you know what though? Yeah, I can't do that actually because if I move it that close then it's Did that go in one? Oh, it did. Okay. We're good. Some power to you. We accidentally colored this beam blue. It should be gray. And I think we're done. Bring those guys up. Are you making computers? Yep. There they are. Fantastic. All right, guys. So the last thing left to do is to set up our heavy modular frames, which we're going to probably do somewhere over in that area. That is the plan. And um, as far as the recipe that we're going to use for that... So this one will do 3.75, which is almost enough. We need four in total. Um, let's look at that real quick. So I think we need two. Yeah, we need two per machine. So we need four in total. So I could either... Uh, I could do one of these and overclock it to four. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is it requires rubber, which means we're going to have to deal with byproduct. Um, unless I pull rubber from over there, which I kind of didn't don't really want to do because this whole setup here is completely self-contained. In other words, it's not relying upon any other products from over there aside from, you know, raw resources. Or, you know, the other option, of course, is to just do two of these, which we could also do. I mean, in 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 any case, you know, they're both going to need manufacturers anyway. Um, this one uses less screws, but more heavy in case or in case industrial beams, and it uses pipes instead of rubber. <clears throat> the modular frames are the same for both. So what I might do is I might, um, I mean, we could, we could also make the rubber and then use the byproduct to make, uh, turbo fuel. Cause I have that really cool turbo fuel recipe that uses heavy oil residue. Um, this one here. So I'm going to, kind of look at both possibilities and decide you know which one I've, I I want to do I, I'm undecided right at the moment as to which one of those I'm going to do so I'll figure that out and then you know do the usual go through and plan it out build the blueprints and then we'll build it together on camera and go from there so that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.